We here at the University of Toledo are working hard every day to make sure that your future energy needs are going to be met in a clean and sustainable way. So we have more than a 35 year history in the development of solar energy technologies. Toledo is a national and international hotbed for photovoltaics manufacturing and innovation. And it all traces back to the work that the great glass entrepreneur, Harold McMaster, did with colleagues in and around the Toledo region and also with faculty at the University of Toledo. So it's a combination of the advanced manufacturing heritage that is in this part of the world and the glass industry that is in Toledo's DNA that have helped uh, us become a leader in solar module production. Our research area here is very broad. Anything that has to do with converting sunlight into electricity with uh, a variety of different materials, like cadmium telluride materials, perovskite materials, copper indium gallium sulfide selenide materials, amorphous silicon hydride materials. So the University of Toledo and the Wright Center is pretty unique nationally in that we work in a wide variety of photovoltaic technologies and we compare and contrast the benefits of each of them in terms of the cost effectiveness, the manufacturability, the efficiency, and the bankability of those various technologies. The Department of Energy recognized the importance of having a homegrown photovoltaic manufacturing capability in the U.S. So most photovoltaic technologies in the market these days are comprised of silicon. We don't have full control over the supply chain and therefore we can't really manage our national energy security in this space. Secretary Granholm announced that a 20 million dollar new program would be established to focus on cadmium telluride. The Secretary of Energy along with Representative Kaptur we're here just recently to announce that University of Toledo won that award and will lead that consortium. Cadmium Telluride is a technology that we can fully own within the U.S. and we can have, therefore, control over our full national uh, energy security around that technology. The, the, the new $20 million program is from the Department of Energy and it's focused on lowering costs for commercial deployment of solar photovoltaics on planet Earth. But we also have considerable support from the Air Force Research Labs, uh, where they are interested in deploying solar technology in space, in satellites, uh, and also potentially for um, large bases uh, on, on the moon. And we really feel that we're at the start of a new renaissance, or next generation of growth uh, associated with photovoltaics. Working with local companies, we're trying to provide uh, an educated workforce, we're innovating within uh, the technical space, and we're making the case for clean solar electricity.